ordinary drab user forms from gray to color-coordinated dynamic forms easily with these two simple class objects. Watch how effortless this is. In the Visual Basic Editor, let's edit the code that launches the form and add these lines. This line declares a data dictionary that will be our class container. It will hold our class in memory after the form launch routine ends. Inside the routine, we declare our form class. Then we make sure our class container exists. Next, we create an instance of our class, assign our form to it, and save the new class instance in our class container. Now we can show the forms as we did before, but this time, our form is colorful, coordinated, and dynamic with buttons that glow when the mouse hovers over them. This form uses Beyond Excel's color palette. But what if our company's colors are different? No problem. All we have to do is change our color theme and show our form. For fancier forms and tighter color control, we can add a skin table. A skin table can include textures. After setting our texture in the skin table, we show our form and there we have it. Now as simple as this code is, there is an even easier way. Instead of adding code to the routine that launches the form, we can add the code to the form itself. This requires just two lines in each form. But the result is the same. Colorful, coordinated, dynamic forms. So let's look at the code for our two classes. The first class object handles the form events. The with events keyword enables this class to respond to any events that any form can respond to. This variable handles a quirk in user forms. User forms in design time expose all events and properties, but in code, a user form data type omits several properties such as position and name. The properties are still there for the user form object, and we can get at them if we assign the actual user form to a generic object first. So OMS as a user form exposes events, and OForm exposes properties. This dictionary object holds in memory our command buttons assigned to class command. This dictionary object holds the various control colors and textures. These other constants do nothing more than help make the code a little easier to understand. When class form is initialized, it sets up the color dictionary with or without a skin table. When we assign a form to our class, it assigns the color dictionary's colors to various controls including the command buttons, which it delegates to class command. We'll talk about that in a moment, but for now, just know class command's job is to turn on the button glow effect when the mouse hovers over it. And while class command handles command buttons glowing, this turns the glow off when the mouse leaves the command button. Three small functions are also included. This one looks for the skin table. This one reports whether or not something exists within a collection like the skins table in a worksheet. This one reports any errors we did not anticipate. Our second object is just a few lines of code. It handles the command button glowing effect. The with events keyword enables this class to respond to any events any command button can respond to. And the mouse move event sets the glow color when the mouse moves over the button. Once we have these two classes in our project, adding color and glowing buttons is easy.